All praises to All the Most praise High and God. All praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for the 12 tribes of Israel. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, to the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful elect, the 144,000 brothers, the Akim, the saints, who are preaching the word of God to the four corners of this earth, risking their lives day in and day out. And Shalom to the brothers, sisters, and children who are watching these videos and learning the truth. And we're on another lesson today. And today I believe it's Thursday. The, the, the weeks, these days are going fast. It's January 5th, 2023. So uh, I'm going to get right in to this lesson. And this is going to be part one. And this lesson is going to be uh, the U.S. military industrial complex. The trillion dollar war with Russia. Okay? And we've been talking about the Rothschilds. But there's 13 families, but the Rothschilds, they enter marriage within each other. So, but the Rothschilds are the rulers of this world with the, thir with the rest of these families, like the DuPonts, the Rockefellers, and many others. And these families have been ruling for centuries, okay? And this whole war is about money. It's all about money. And I just put that video with, I believe his name was Richard Black. He was a, he was a, a colonel in the military for over 30 years. And now he's a, a U.S. Senator, I believe in, uh, in Virginia. And he, he came out. He's been coming out, like I said, in, in the Holy Book, and we're going to get into those scriptures, it talks about whistleblowers, fence jumpers, that they know what's going on. They're part of the Illuminati, but they they know with the Bible, they can see who the apostles and the prophets are, so they fear, fear, and they're jumping fence, they're whistleblowing against the elites. And he, you know, he came out and, and you know, he's letting people know that this, they don't care about the Ukrainian people. They don't. They don't care about the the women, children. They don't care if that whole country gets leveled with missiles. Like I said, Ukraine is the battle to overthrow Russia and to take out Iran, Syria, the whole world. But Russia has to go. All right. So, like I said, it's a U.S. military industrial complex. Who runs the Pentagon? The Rothschild family. They run the U.S. government. They run the, your Senate, your Congress, your judicial system. They control it. They're all, they're the worst dictators of the whole world. But they have you, the Americans brainwashed. Like Vladimir Putin, he's a dictator. Saddam Hussein, he was a dictator. All these so-called kings and Vice, I mean, presidents or prime ministers in Europe, they call themselves prime ministers, or in the back of the ancient days, they were called kings. Okay? The Rothschilds, they're the wicked of the wicked that rule this earth. And they have you brainwashed. They control the Republicans and they re control the uh, Democrats. They play both sides, they play the, all the wars. Okay? They fund wars. They, they, they make money off these wars. And that's why it's called the U.S. Military Industrial Complex, where they control it. And, the, and we're going to get into it. A driving factor behind the relationship between the military and the defense-minded corporation is that both sides benefit one side from attaining war weapons and the other from being paid to supply them. They're all, they're all hand to hand, all right? There's a word called collusion. They work together. The little guys, they don't get no, they don't get paid. These are the guys that are part of the Illuminati, the, uh, the illuminated ones, okay? Because they believe, so you have the right and the left. The right are the apostles and the prophets, and on the left is the wicked. They believe they're the most brightest people on earth. 
okay? And that's why they controlled the banks, they controlled the U.S. military. And like I said, the military, the U.S. military is the Rothschild's pit bull. They steal and kill on the four corners of this earth. And they'll brainwash the American citizens. They'll brainwash them and they'll make false accusations and they'll demonize like they did Saddam Hussein of Iraq. They demonize uh, Syria, Afghanistan. They make these boogeymans like Osama bin Laden. And now the boogeyman today is Vladimir Putin. But they're the real cuckoo man. They're the real boogeyman, the Rothschild family. These men have liquid gold. They steal everything. All the artifacts of the world. In Iraq, they stole all the artifacts. They stole all their gold, silver, any precious jewels, anything that's of value, they take it, okay? So that's what it says right here. Uh, the corporations are, your, like I said, they're the middle management of the Rothschilds. These are your like your multi-billionaires. The Rothschild family, they're in the trillions. Eight or nine hundred trillion. Your middle management is your, your corporations or Forbes magazine. They make billions of dollars, but they take orders because they'll wipe them out. Just like Donald Trump, he's one of their coffee boys. He's not gonna, you're never gonna hear him talk about the Rothschild. They'll take all his wealth. All those senators, those, those are your millionaires. And they make them pass laws at night. They pass laws at 1, 2, 3 in the morning when you're sleeping. That's why they mess with my videos. Because I'm going to bring you out the truth. And I'll back it up. And I'll tie it in with the holy book. So the military and defense-minded corporations, they both work together. They benefit one side from obtaining war weapons and the other from being paid to supply them. The strongest form of collusion is a cartel increases their profits and they stick to high prices. Like I said, the Federal Reserve, they just print, print, and they all pay their minute, their, their corporations, the middlemen, which are the billionaires under the Rothschild family. They take orders from the Rothschilds. This is all big money to build tanks, helicopters, missiles, ammo. This is big money and it's all by blood. People are being slaughtered. So World War III is in full effect, okay? But I'm going to get right into the uh, holy book and uh, this is just going to be part one. There's going to be probably 10, 20. Like I said, I jump around all over the place. But there'll be a part two and a part three. It might be tomorrow, it might be next week or in a month because the Most High puts the spirit on me. But today I wanted to bring a, bring out the U.S. military industrial complex. They make true, they're going to make trillions of dollars with World War III. Okay? So I'm going to go right into the scriptures. And like I said, these politicians, they're these bankers, they're, uh, they're nothing but devils. They're evil people who rule over America, Europe, and the four, and the four corners of this earth. Because they run the show. All right? But the Most High made an adversary against them, and that's Russia. Because he's going to use Russia to nuke America to kingdom come. So, but we're going to get right into the scriptures. The Holy Book, Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Now he's talking about these so your president, your congress, your senators. When they speak, it's smoother than like butter. Just like your uh, scholars. See, we're rough over here. We talk rough and we're rude in speech. I'm here to hurt your feelings, but I'm speaking the truth. Now they, they, these guys, they, they speak like delicate women and their mouth is smoother than butter. Because it's all lies. Everything they come out is lies. They'll say, we don't want war. But they really want war. These men are demons. Alright? That's why we're here to wake you up. We're going to... Uh, the Rothschild family, they're nothing but... The, uh, they're the children of pigs. Liars and murderers. Alright? So he says right here, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. 
The heart means the mind in the ancient Hebrew. The mind. Okay? When you see heart, it means the mind. His mind is evil, corrupt. And uh, that's why he says right here, he says, but war was in his heart, which means the mind. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. That's why all these senators and congress, they talk soft. They're paid whores for the Rothschild family. They're, they, they when, when, when World War III, and you start seeing the Marines and Army getting killed and they're getting flown back in body bags, your politicians are taking you down this road which I call one deadly road. One deadly road to destruction. But they're taking orders from the Rothschild family. Like I said, they mess with this channel, they mess with my views, I'm on age restrictions. You're not gonna see me on CNN or Fox News or CNBC because they control the narrative of all your channels. They control the Republican Party, they re uh, control the Democrat Party. You're just being uh, entertained with entertainment when you're watching CNBC. All right, so it just shows you right there, their, their mouth is softer than oil. Where he says, but war was in his heart, his words are softer than oil. They're, he's smooth, he's slick, yet they were drawn swords because all about this military complex, it's all money. And we're gonna, I'm gonna bring out lessons on these big corporations like Boeing and Martin Marietta and many others. They're all hand to hand in collusion. All right. So let me go to uh, real quick. I'm gonna jump to James five and one because the Most High is gonna bring all these elites. He's gonna bring all these billionaires down. Holy Book 5 and 1. It's another cold, another cold night in Denver. The, uh, the Holy Book of James chapter 5 verse 1. Come now you rich, weep and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you. Because the Most High, it's all going to backfire. Alright, World War 3, we're going to get into nuclear exchange. And this whole, the sky, it, it, you're not going to you're only gonna have memories of a morning, of morning and a beautiful afternoons and when the sun sets. There's a, you're, it's only gonna be a memory. There's a, a movie called The Road. Watch that movie. That's another good movie where it just shows it shows a man and his wife and the wife just goes into the woods. She can't take it. This is the time of nuclear war. After the after effects, which is called Black Rain. The, uh, all the dust that goes into the uh, atmosphere, it's gonna be dark day and night. The only time you're gonna know it's during the day is you're gonna see a sun trying to, uh, try to its brightness trying to come through, but it's gonna look like black sackcloth. And at night, you'll know it's night because the moon is gonna look like blood, dripping blood. It's just gonna look, the whole sky is just gonna be a dark red. I'm gonna go to Psalms 12. The Holy Book of Psalms, 12 and 8. The Holy Book of Psalms, 12 and 8. and eight. The wicked prowl on every side when vile vileless men are exalted among the sons of men. These are your Rothschilds, your international bankers who control the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is its, its own entity. It's more powerful than the U.S. government. They pull the strings. The, every time they print money, they just they're printing that 1.7 trillion right now. In the next two, three months, they're gonna be pulling out more trillions to pay for this war. And guess who's paying for it? You. So the people that you look up to, they're God, this is in the Holy Book. Everything you need to know is in this book. He said they are the most vile. Look up the word vile. They're the most disgusting humans ever created. 
He says that's why the wicked, they prowl. Because they're always on the prowl to steal and kill. All right? They look for gold and silver and anything that's precious. And they will murder thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions. And it's about this World War III is going to kill billions of people. All right? That's why he says the wicked prowl on every side. When the vilest of men is exalted and you people exalt these bankers like they supposed to be someone your scholars of this world and these uh senators and your congress and your judicial supreme court you you uh you worship these people like they're somebody's but they're god calls them the most vile humans they're the scum the maggots of the earth he says uh you exalt them among the sons of men and that's what the people do. They exalt them. They look at the, the servants of God. They look at us as trash. But we have the truth. We have this holy book in front of you. And I, the word of God comes from the highest. This is comes from his mind. And the book is about his son. And the apostles and the prophets are, are part of the story of this holy book. This is his story. This is his movie that's playing out. We're on the bottom. The wickedest of men are on top. The most vile men of this earth. They kill. They've been killing for centuries. They've killed more people. They make Hitler look like a Boy Scout. And he was one of their pawns. Like I said, they stole the land of Israel. Because it's the apple of the Most High's eye. And those people that pounce around that think that they're part of God's people. They're not God's people. That's in Revelations 2 and 9 and Revelations 3 and 9. And that last video I did about Auschwitz, within two hours I had like 50 views and it just stopped for like 24 hours. They put like blocks on my on my, uh, on my views. I've seen views where it went a few hundred and they bring it back down to one or zero. That social media is controlled by the Rothschild family. They're tracking every single human being on your phones. All right? In the future, that one world order, we're going to get into those lessons. That's what this whole thing, they want to control every single human being. But we're going to get into that. Let me see, where am I at here? Stay in the Holy Book of Psalms. Let me get chapter 36. Holy Book, chapter 36, 1 through 4. Chap the Holy Book of Psalms, chapter 36, verse 1. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgressions of the wicked, the sins of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. Now, these wicked men, the Rothschild, these elites, these billionaires, trillionaires, billionaires, millionaires, they have no fear of God. The, 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 the house of Esau, because they're the Hebrew Edomites, and then the grandson is Amalek, who's the, they're the Rothschilds and those people, those creeps in Israel and in Hollywood that control the movies and brainwash your children, and they brainwash, they run the music industry. They're the children of evil, okay? And the, and the Holy Book says, they have no fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They have no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes. But who fears God? Jacob. We fear God. Now, are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. But we know when we do bad, and then we, we get on our knees and we, we repent. Like if I sock somebody in their face, oh, oh I, you know, God forgive me. I did bad things when I was younger and a teenager. You know, I, we all done. We all fell off. But Jacob has fear of God. Esau don't fear God. He could kill somebody and then go eat a hammer. He could do all kinds of wicked things. And it's not in his conscience. His conscience is wicked. So he says he flatters himself in, in his own eyes. When he finds out his sin and when he, when he hates, the words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. There goes your, those uh, bankers, your uh, Wall Street, those... Uh, New York Stock Exchange, they're the, uh, the the thieves are stealing your pensions, they're stealing your 401, they're stealing your bond, they're stealing everything that you work for. 
they're the biggest thieves. That's why he says right here, uh, the words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. Everything comes out is a lie. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. He devises wickedness on his bed. Remember I told you when Congress and the Senate, they passed laws, like they, they passed to have the guillotines in every American city. But you're too busy watching football, baseball, basketball games, watching Led Zeppelin and all these garbage pal rappers that have their pants down to their knees that are feminine, like wash women. That's who you look up to, a bunch of lowlifes. All these people are lowlifes, man. And he says, he, he has ceased to be wise and to do good. He devises wickedness on his bed. Those are your Senate and Congress passing these evil, wicked laws that, to take your property, to take your homes, to remove all your, your money in the bank is theirs. The banks have total control over your money, dummy. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not hate evil. This man, these people love evil. Go to Job 20. The Holy Book of Job, chapter 20, uh, verse 4 and 7. Do you not know this of old, since man was placed on earth, that the, the triumphing of the wicked is short? His time is very short. The Most High determines the beginning and his end. And the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, and they are the children of, of hypocrites. Everything about America, about this whole your declaration, all your laws here, you are the children of hypocrites. Just like how you demonized Putin for taking and going into another land, we've been doing that since 1776. You are, you are the children of hypocrites. You are the true hypocrite of the world. Though his, his haughtiness mounts up to the heavens and his head reaches to the clouds, his, uh, his arrogance, his head reaches to the clouds of in arrogance. Yet he will perish forever like his own refuse. Those who have seen him will say, where is he in the kingdom? Because he's going to come back as a slave for a thousand years. It's in the holy book. And then the Most High is going to exterminate him. And he's going to send them away far, far because the... The spirit, we're going to exterminate, he's going to exterminate their bodies. And that, that's on a whole new lesson, another lesson. But his spirit, the, the spirit is a, a, is a fire. All our spirits, that's why when someone dies, you know, your body's warm. And when you die, it turns cold as ice because the spirit leaves the body. But the, the body, the spirit is a consuming fire. So Most High is going to, after the thousand years of slavery, these elites and their children's children. We're going to exterminate the bodies, but the Most High is going to send their spirits. Who knows where he's going to send them, but they won't be on this planet. But they, all of our spirits is a consuming fire. It never could be, uh, once God creates that spirit, it lives forever and ever. But we'll, like I said, that goes into another lesson. I'm going to stay on point right here. Let's go to Psalm 7. Psalm 7. Getting a little chilly out here, brothers, but we're gonna we're gonna get through it. Uh, chapter 12, verse 7, 7, 9 through 16. There's this right here. Sorry, sorry. There's a, like a little warm pack here. Um, let's start with verse 9 and 16, here, brother. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked Come to an end, but establish the just, which are the apostles, the prophets, the 144,000, and the great multitude of brothers and sisters. For the righteous, God, Yahweh, tests the hearts and minds. My defense is of God, Yahweh, who saves the upright in heart. God is a just God, and God is angry with the wicked every day. He hates and he's angry at the Rothschilds, these international bankers, your congress, your senators. He's angry with them every day 
and these wicked people who are the coffee boys who uh who who join hand to hand in collusion with these wicked creeps if he does not turn back he will sharpen his sword he bends his bow and makes it ready he also prepares for himself an instrument of death what is that the most high is preparing the death of this land those thermal nuclear missiles are aimed the most high's arrows will not miss this world war three is beyond your comprehension what's about to happen two billion people are about to lose their lives right now over 300,000 soldiers have died over there on the Ukrainian uh, Ukraine and Russian border over a thousand a day are being killed but it's gonna once our military joins in you'll have several hundred Americans being killed a day sent back in on uh, in their coffins being sent back in those Air Force planes back to America and then it'll turn into thousands a day there's gonna be like I said millions into billions of people will die in World War three but God says he's preparing the instruments of death he makes his arrows into a fiery shaft behold the wicked travel with sin conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood that's what they do they make they demonize they make false accusations on other nations they 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 lie to you just like about Iraq and 9-11 they were behind it the Rothschild they were in a in a luxury building watching that bird those people jumping out of those buildings they watched when those planes went in there there were three buildings that went down what happened to building seven a 55-story building just fell by itself and you ain't gonna see that being covered on ABC CBS do your research wake up dummy behold the wicked travel with sin conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood he made a pit and dug it out and has fallen into the ditch which he made it's World War three is digging it is digging a hole he's digging his own grave because God's gonna backfire everything a back back onto this land on America and Europe because he's getting these nations while oh, he's rising them up China North Korea the whole Middle East is gonna join together and Russia so it's gonna be like a, a Super Bowl Sunday all the players are getting on the field but this is not gonna be no way throwing a football this is gonna be 762 AK 47 bullets going right through men and missiles short-range missiles uh, flamethrowers this is real men are gonna be dying just like what's going on right now in Russia over a thousand men dying 10 million people have been displaced out of Ukraine and he says and has fallen into a ditch which he he made his trouble shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down on his own crown all the evil dealings that the Rothschilds, America, your American government, your Pentagon, this, your uh, the war machine, these industrial companies, these corporate uh, cartels, it's gonna fall on their head because thermal nuclear missiles in America, I've had the visions, my family's had the visions out of America being invaded by Russia, Iran, North Korea, and China. These whole skies that are gonna come from the West I've had the vision that my daughter and my sons have seen this whole sky with parachutes. They're coming. Before they nuke this place, they're going to invade it and they're going to steal the booty. And when I mean booty, that's an ancient term of stealing what they can take. And then they're going to go back and then they're going to nuke this place to kingdom come. So he says, your violent dealings with the world shall come down on your own crown. And that's what's coming. Let's go back to uh, Job 20. Holy Book of Job, chapter 20, verse 27 and 29. The heavens will reveal his sin, and the earth will rise up against him. That earth of those nations, the nations are going to rise up against them. These trees hate the Rothschilds. These trees hate your sinners. These trees are alive. These trees, the, the plants, 
they all speak to each other. The rocks are alive. They're all going to rise against the children of the wicked, Satan's children. He says the heavens will reveal his sin and the earth will rise up against him. The increase of his house will depart and his goods will, fl will flow away in the day of his wrath because God's wrath is going to fall upon their heads. These trillionaires are going to be, they're going to have to go into their bunkers just like a rodent, like a rat. Rats like to go into holes. Well, they're all going to have to go into their, their, their holes that they dug up. This is the portion from Yahweh, the portion from God for a wicked man, the heritage appointed to him by God, that the Most High is going to strike these men. And then the Rothschild, these elites that go into those bunkers, they're going to be our first slaves. We're going to pull them out after the nuclear destruction. Because the, the son, the son of God, Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus Christ, he's going to have to reset this whole earth. Because right after nuclear war, it's going to go like 30, 50, 70 below worldwide. So he has to come to reset this planet. One more scripture, Psalms chapter 37. And then we'll, we'll close it out, brothers and sisters. 37 verse 10. 10 and 11. The Holy Book of Psalms chapter 37 verse 10 and 11. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Beautiful. They're, they're here right now, but soon they'll be no more. God's going to knock them off their high horse. Indeed, you will look diligent for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek, this is the beautiful, this is what I want to talk, this, 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 this is the verse, verse 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace in the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Because the Most High is sending his son, the Prince of Peace. And who is he talking about? But it shall, but the meek, who are the meek shall inherit the earth. The apostles, the prophets, the 144,000, and the great multitude of brothers and sisters. They're the meek of this earth. But the meek shall inherit the earth forever and ever in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the Son of God. He's the Prince of Peace. We have a beautiful future, brothers and sisters, because we're going to find peace with the Son of God. And everything's going to come back. He's going to reset everything in righteousness. So I hope all you brothers and sisters were edified. All praises to the Most High God forever and, and ever. So let me true. Keep on fighting. Don't let this devil bring you down because we have a great future in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let it be true. Most High will be here tomorrow.